Welcome to Eric Han Labs. We have a special holiday edition video for you today, and we're going to do a little test based on the famous Christmas classic, A Christmas Story. So with that, we're going to recreate one of the scenes in the movie. <laughs> no, Sean, not that scene. Are you happy wearing that? We're going to recreate the, shoot, the scene where Ralphie actually shoots his eye out. The whole premise of the movie is by him getting the Red Ryder BB gun, which we have one here. But we're going to see later on in the movie that he shot his eye out. We're going to test and see if normal glasses, safety glasses, and shooting glasses will protect, uh, would have protected Ralphie from actually getting uh, shot in the eye. Before we begin, let's talk about ANSI ISEA Z87.1. This standard ensures that safety glasses meet rigorous requirements for impact resistance, optical clarity, and durability. It's a critical benchmark for industrial eye protection, making sure that your eyes are safeguarded in high-risk environments. All right, so for today's test, we're going to test three different eyeglasses. First, we got a set of reading glasses, which is typical to a normal prescription and the lens quality there. So we're going to see if that actually protects, uh, but probably won't much like in the movie when Ralphie actually gets his uh, shot out. Second, we have uh, the bodyguard uh, safety glasses. These are really made for in industry. Uh, they have the same safety ratings as the third pair, but uh, they're supposed to be a little bit lighter, um, more general use. And then our last pair of glasses here, uh, these are no cry shooting glasses. Uh, they're not ballistic glasses, but they are a step up from the industry, uh, normal industry wear of the, the bodyguard. Uh, so with that, we're gonna see, is there a big difference between the two? And uh, see what one protects the best against the Red Rider BB gun. Don't shoot any animals or birds. Except the bumpers is dogs. Oh, gosh. Be careful, Ralphie. Ready whenever. So our first shot, we did take the Red Rider BB gun out, and uh, we did hit the glasses dead on. So Sean did a great job of that. Uh, these glasses, the you can see that there's major cracks in it. Um, probably would have damaged the eyeball uh, as it went in there. But these are gooey eyes, and it did not did not penetrate to get the goo out of the eye. So we got to see what that's going to be. Um, so I would say right now, normal glasses, the Red Rider BB gun, just like in the movie, that's pretty real. It's gonna jack you up, so I would not be shooting with uh, a normal, normal pair of glasses on. Yes. So our second shot, we hit use Red Rider on the um, bodyguard uh, industry uh, type safety glasses that are common out in the, in the uh, workforce. Um, actually. These did really well. Uh, you can't even tell that they were scratched. Um, so I guess, you know, if Ralphie had these on, it'd have been a different story. And actually, these are pretty nice because they actually slide over your normal prescription glasses. So should have been a dumbass, and he should probably put these on. But moving on. All right. So on our third shot, we get the new no cry uh, again. These are rated the same uh, as our typical bodyguard uh, with the, the industry protection uh, standard, but they are made for a little bit more ballistic uh, use, uh, but not full on ballistic. This, again, didn't even scratch it. Uh, so, you know, again, Ralphie would be well protected if he had these on when he was outside shooting. Um, so now let's kick this up a notch. We know this is Intercon Labs and you know, we gotta do some extreme stuff here. So now we brought in a high power BB gun the Red Ryder BB gun, a staple of childhood dreams in the 1940s, has a muzzle velocity of about 350 feet per second. In comparison, our modern 22 caliber pellet gun boasts a velocity up to 1,350 feet per second. That's nearly four times faster. A significant difference we'll see in today's test. So now we brought in the big dog gun and this blew the lens out completely, shot through our mannequin 
and I would say that the eyes are going to be pretty much would have been damaged. Uh, this is uh, pretty nasty, so we'll see how it goes. But it didn't totally goo out yet, so let's see how. And these things are pretty durable. Next up, the bodyguard. The bodyguard safety glasses are impressive as they stop the high velocity pellet without penetration. However, the energy transfer was so intense that it caused the arm of the glasses to detach. A testament to their durability, but also a reminder that extreme conditions can push any material to its limits. So our last test was the no cry shooting glasses. These held up extremely well. The lens has a little dent in it from when the BB hit, but arms are on, everything is still intact, and you can probably still see right through these. So these are about the best ones out of the three uh, to use for eye protection. So what did we learn today? Proper eye protection matters, especially when dealing with high velocity projectiles. Safety glasses designed for industrial environments are your best bet for keeping your eyes safe and sound. So that concludes today's episode. Really appreciate your time for any electrical control equipments from industrial control panels to switch gear to genset power packaging. We're the company to go to. Entercon specializes in all. Watch more of our videos, like and subscribe us, and share the content. Uh, appreciate having you here. Have a great holiday season and uh, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. No!